www.nudabuzz.com. This is again Ty. I'm still creating a video tutorial regarding an Encore uh, Ethernet broadband router, ENRTR-104. Uh, it's a CDR King retail Encore product. Again, it's just a LAN router. And this time on this video tutorial, what I would like to show you is uh, a way and how you can change the password of your device. Uh, the access password so you can make changes. So what you do is you bring up your Firefox or whatever browser that you favor and try to type in 192.168.10.1. If you have a different IP you might have changed that. You can just try that in there. If you can't access this page 192.168.10.1 we have another tutorial for that. You can just check that out, look that up from the list of videos that we have on NudaWorks on YouTube. But again, if you manage to get through to this page, username and password, you have to type that in there, ADMIN for the username. And if this is your first time changing that, probably you just purchased that and you just would want to create your own password. A blank password would work. If it doesn't, try to type back admin and try 1234 as a default click on OK then it would log you in let me just refresh that one more time there you go all right so we're on the router itself now the idea is to just to change the password of your router so what you do is you go to a uh, system right here and go to right here on the left side you got tabs right there so you have system sta uh, status, system settings, administrator settings. Just click on that. And it should ask you to create a username and also create a password. All right? With some of the routers, we got D-Link routers and some Linksys and Netgear uh, devices. It won't allow you to rename the username. It would be default to admin. But here, you can, uh, let me go back, you can create a username on your own. Uh, I might have pressed something. <laughs> Let me click back there. Okay, so you're on this page now. Username admin, current password, new password. So you, what you want to do is you just like try to type in uh, noodle, probably for username and current password. Let's just try to make it longer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's up to you, of course. You you have to create a password. That you would easily know and hard for some uh, someone else to decode. Retype here uh, for oh sorry current password. Let me go back. I got kind of confused right there. One two three four. That's the old password that we have. New password one two three four five. And retype one two three four five. Uh, don't mind the others right there. So again, you're just changing the password and as well username of your device so click on OK from there it's gonna say you want to change it yes I do click on continue then click on log out right here so that we could re-verify if we are really uh, successful in changing the password so again try to access the same page 192.168.10.1 it's gonna ask you back to type in username we're gonna try the old one to check if it's really changed ADMIN and one uh, sorry, one, two, three, four. This is the old password. Click on enter. It's going to reject that. Try the new one. We made a uh, noodle. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Click on OK. And it should log you in. So to check again if that is really the right setting, click on administrator settings right here. Then you got username noodle. Current password is hidden. So from there, you could make changes and somehow make your router. Uh, a bit secured that no one can access and make changes on that. For some other video tutorials about routers, softwares, and uh, design, we also got recipes. You can check that out on noodleboss.com. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.